Providing services on the internet is one of the fastest ways to earn money online, that's for sure. But it is also one with the lowest barrier of entry. Basically, anyone can start providing services online. So what differentiates profitable service providers versus those that just can make ends meet? And this is how productive and how efficient they are. Because if you're providing services, you have a cap on the amount of hours that you can spend working. So you better get the most out of those hours. And how we can do that? By leveraging technology. So being a service provider nowadays has become a game on who can leverage technology the best. And one of the ways that we can do that is by using apps such as Notion, plus automation and AI. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Notion in my Notion consulting business so I am more efficient than you. And by the way, before we move into that, I have an announcement to make. I am working on making this knowledge even more available and I'm building a community. In this community, I will have the step-by-step -step process that I always follow with every one of my clients to systemize their businesses and you will be able to follow it too. So right now we have just opened the waitlist and only the people in that waitlist will be eligible for our launching offer. So click in the description of this video where you can sign up for that and get more information once we launch. Okay, so back to the video. One of the things that we want to avoid in our service-based business is to hire people when we don't need to. So. Before hiring, we have to make sure that our systems are on place, that we have automated everything that we can and that we are using AI properly. Just this morning, I was reading a book that is called How to Get Rich. I love that name by Felix Dennis that I cannot show it to you because it's the tripod that I'm using for my phone. I'm on a holiday home, so I didn't have a tripod. I didn't have a proper camera. I'm just using my phone. In that book, Felix said that one of the things that we have to keep to the minimum is our overhead, aka our fixed costs. Because also the more our team grows, the more managerial tasks we are going to have to do and therefore the less efficient we are going to be. So in my ideal scenario, a service-based company should be made of four or five people and that is it. Two people for service, one person for sales and marketing and one person for admin. So how am I using Notion to make sure that my business is as efficient as it can be? Let me show you. This is the main page of my company and this is Notion by the way. Here we have the documents that people need to read whenever they are onboarded into the company for the first time. And I'm gonna show you the key areas that we have inside of our business that help me run this whole thing being super efficient. First one is here inside of the consulting area. This is where the money is made, where we have an area for all the leads. If I were to track these leads manually, I will be crazy and I will probably even forget to follow up with these people and lose deals. And all the leads come here automatically whenever they book a call with me, which means they're interested. And then inside of each of their records, I have all their information that they have given me up to this point. I also have an area with all my clients. These are the active clients that I'm working for right now. Why it is vital that I have this system? Because whenever I'm assigning projects to different people inside of my team, we can all have the same information at all times. And we are going to reduce the number of times that we are going to be speaking to each other because we don't like to speak to people. We just like to work and help clients. So this is what this system is helping us do. Plus also Notion right now has automations and we have standardized which are the tasks that we always need to do whenever we onboard a client. So for example, this is one of the use cases in which we are saving time which is creating all the different tasks that we create whenever a client is onboarded into our system. Then, of course, since we have all this information over here, we can have a place where we can see all our different stats and everything, and how much money we earn, like the referral rate, the LTV and all of that. And this is fully automated. All this data just comes from the different automations. Whenever a client pays, that amount is added to the record or whenever we send an invoice, like everything just happens automatically and I just have to come here and read the data. But now how do my team use this? Well, we have 
personal dashboards. Every member inside of my team has a personal dashboard. And if I go into their dashboards, I can see the tasks that they have pending. And this is the view that they use to get things done. Now I have shown you two of the main areas that I use every time and that makes my business so efficient. One is the leads and clients area and another one is the tasks area. But this is not the best because the best is the knowledge that I have here in my head that now my team members can use. How? It is not calling me. It is by going into the SOPs and documents area because here I have created documents for everything that we do inside of the company for promotion marketing, sales and onboarding, for fulfilling the actual service, for after sales, everything is written down here. So what is this doing? One, people don't call me because remember, I just want to work. I don't want to talk. And second, I am no longer dependent on the few people <laughs> that work for me because they just can read how to do things. And if they exit the company for whatever reason, maybe because I'm a jackass, then the new hire will just have to read these documents and that is it. So this is what I call the holy trinity, clients, tasks, and documents. Only with these three, you're gonna be so much farther ahead than any other service provider. But then when we stack this system on top of automations and artificial intelligence, this is when our company really shines. I have some other automation and AI videos inside of this channel, so you can check them out. Just by implementing this whole trinity that I just talked to you about, one of my most recent clients, his name is Wyatt, he was able to outsource the fulfilling of his company. He's on the beverage industry and he needed a system to track all the different orders that he needs to make for all the different products. And before he was all the time creating tasks, uh, telling people what to do and moving things forward all the time, keeping the ball rolling. He, that, that, was, that were his words. But now since we created the system, all his tasks are created automatically. Every task have a document that explains how to do it. And he has exited 100% the fulfillment inside of his company. And now he's focused on sales and we are working on doing the same for the sales part of his company. So he can also outsource that. I don't know what he's gonna do when we finish. Probably, I don't know, nothing. So if the objective that you have with your company, it is one, to earn money, which I believe you do. And second, to be free and to work less, having something like this is essential. It doesn't have to be in Notion, but you need to have a digital tool that helps you and you should leverage automation and AI to become competent. So your output is much bigger than my output when we work the same number of hours. If you need help implementing any of this, this is what my company Systemify do for a living. So book a call right now in the description of this video so we can talk a little bit about how your business works and how we can implement something similar inside of your business. So you can step out of the areas of your business that you don't enjoy working in because maybe other people that are looking for a job want to do it for you, but you need a system first. So, well, that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.